Okay, this is the answer key for the Lizard Evolution Virtual Lab Module 1. Um, for the first prompt, so your, your responses are really going to vary here depending on how you initially grouped the lizards. Um, but I hope that you saw at the end of the module how they were grouped. It's probably different from um, what you did because I'm assuming a lot of you grouped by color. Um, but more it's, it's based on their hind limb length and their tail length. Okay, so these next couple prompts, the answers should have popped up when you clicked something. So for the first question, uh, what do the four groups of anoles represent? So those are the four ecomorphs. Which of the following features may differ among um, a different ecomorph group? That should have been D, all of the above. Why did you need to calculate relative hind limb length rather than absolute hind limb length? Should have been B to control for the effects of body size when making comparisons. Species that belong to the same ecomorph group are similar in appearance and occupy similar habitats. This suggests that species living in similar habitats evolve similar traits. In other words, the traits are adaptations, which the following observation supports this conclusion. Should have been B, no lizards living high in the canopy have larger toe pads and can cling to smooth leaves better than species found on tree trunks on the ground. So this is a good example that shows how adaptations are specific to a species environment. So if they're living high in the canopy, they need more um, toe pads. And then you should have watched that video that was 39 seconds long. Based on what Dr. Jonathan Losa said, uh, why have different lizard species evolved to occupy different parts of the habitats? The correct answer should have been A, to minimize competition for food and other resources between different species. This is something we didn't really have time to, to um, discuss a lot this semester, obviously, but no two species can peacefully cohabitate this or co cohabitate in the same niche. There will always be some sort of competition for space or resource if they occupy the same niche. Um, this is a good example. In Puerto Rico, and Hispaniola, you find the same ecomorphs. And then based on what you have learned so far, what is the most likely explanation for why the same ecomorphs evolved on both Puerto Rico and Hispaniola? And the correct answer should have been B, both islands have similar habitats. Um, so they evolved to be similar because of their similar habitats. All right, let me know if you have any more questions after watching this video.